redundancy bus introduction. This allows you to have two receivers. In the case that one fails, the RXAR will immediately move control to the slick receiver. Process 1. How to bind. Connect the S bus port to slate receiver to the RX input of RXAR. Connect the servo to the channel port of RXAR what you want. Then bind the transmitter with RXAR and slave receiver. Hold the failsafe of slave receiver and power it first. Hold the failsafe button of RXAR and power it as well. Both receiver enter into binding mode now. Turn on the transmitter and choose D16 binding mode and select bind. Then LED of both receivers starts to blink. Repower both receivers and confirm that the green LEDs of both receivers are lit, indicating your binding process completed. Move servos to check if the process was completed correctly. Process 2. How to check the RxAR function. To test the working status of RxAR redundancy bus, first remove the antennas of RxAR. Repower both receivers and observe that your servos are still functioning properly. Confirm the green LEDs on both receivers are lit and servo. Functions correctly. Then put your TX in range mode and separate from RxAR. You will see the red LED of RxAR start to blink indicating the RxAR has stopped working. And if the servo is still working properly, you will know that the RxAR has worked because it is now receiving the signal from X6R through redundancy function of RxAR.